Hey folks, uh, Vic here with a little uh, midweek video for you. I have a trade to show you from uh, today, which is April the 20th, 2022. And it's a short-term trade, what we call a scalp. And it worked out really nicely, and, and, if, um, and that's great. And of course, I'll show you, you know, all the details of the trade. But what I really want to do with this video is answer a question that uh, both Darko and I get, Darko and I get very, very often, which is, should I be a Forex short-term trader or a long-term trader? Which one would be best for me? So I'll talk about this, and I will tell you what I recommend for almost every trader, and I'll explain more in the video. Also, I have a request. In the comments below the video, let me know whether or not you are profitable with your trading. Okay, and I know this can be a little bit personal, uh, but you know, listen, believe me when I tell you that most people are not profitable. So if you're not, you certainly are not alone, okay? But I also know that we can we can transform you into a profitable trader. I hope that you like this video. Uh, if so, if you would hit the like button, I'd really appreciate that. And be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can click the subscribe button in the lower right corner of the video. So let's take a look at this trade. And I'll make some comments regarding short-term versus long-term trading, and I hope that you find them helpful. Okay, so the trade that um, we took uh, today, which is uh, April the 20th, 2022, was on this pair, the Aussie-Canadian dollar pair. And, you, we, you know, we go through a price action reading and analysis uh, before we make a trade. We notice things like on it. You know, when we're, when we're short-term trading, our combination that we use is a daily a four hour and a 15 minute chart. So we use the daily and the four hour for our higher time frame references. And we see that after breaking the swing here, we come all the way down and we broke this swing. See our price went, came down, up, and then broke down, closed below here. That's really negative. This was a really good level of support, was it not? See that? And you can see reactions off of it in other, in other places here and that. So, well, and you look back here, what a, what a nice level that was. You could see there's there's something going on at that level. Well, price rallied up and hit it, okay, today. Now, if you go down to the four-hour chart, that's right here, I want you to look at the price action on this too. After, after going up here, price comes down, waffles around, and then breaks down below here and closes below here. Okay, so this is really important price action reading, guys. I, I'm, I'm telling you, when you learn how to do this, it makes all the difference in your trading because there's nothing to do in places like here and here. We're looking to see what happens if price comes back to here. We know it's a really good level. We know that. What does it do when it gets back to though? Is there a reason to sell? Okay, because we're, we're, we're looking to sell this at resistance. This is now the old support becomes resistance. Well, we go down to our 15 minute, which is our entry time frame for short term trading. And look what happened. This is the same line. That we just showed you right price uh, is rallying up rallying up rallying up and then it does this it it rallies higher hits this line and drops let's get this out of the way here just so it's not confusing this is called a rotation in fact it's called a swing break and rotation and this is a really powerful setup and you might recognize it as a head and shoulders formation let me see if i can get the little point the drawing tool out here um you see what it is it goes it comes it comes up and then it comes down and then it goes up and then it goes down to here up and then collapses like this this is a uh, really really good um I, uh, example of a head and shoulders and this this would be the head right here and this would be the left shoulder and this would be the right shoulder now there's you know specific ways to enter now look i'm i'm, I'm showing you this trade all in hindsight so i'm not going to tell you you know, you should have entered here, you should have done this and that. I mean, that's pretty easy, right? You know, just sell here and buy it back down here. I mean, that's that's garbage. What I'm saying is when you recognize patterns, you have specific ways to get into them. And this turns out to be a, a, a pretty darn nice trade. You know, there's a, a, well, about a three to one reward all the way down to here. But now we're getting into trade management. And trade management is something that everybody's going to do a little bit differently. It's why we can never show... Hey, you know, here's what the results are. Well, the results are never the same for any two people. I've got, I did a video on this actually, but um, uh, I hope you saw that. It was a few videos back on our YouTube channel. But in any event, you can obviously a good setup at this level. It's a recognizable pattern. Down it goes. All right. Here's the thing. This little 15 minute setup 
happens on all time frames. Do you think it would be easier to find them on 15 minute charts? Okay, because you got to be sitting at your computer to find them or on higher time frame charts. Easy answer. They are far easier to find on higher time frames. And what makes it even easier is that since there is lots of time, Darko, uh, who runs our long term trading service, is able to point out um, most of the uh, these setups before they happen in his pre market analysis video what he, that he does for the longer term trading service so that our members can take advantage of them. So th he points them out days in advance. Okay. And that, that's a nice thing about uh, longer term trading. So, so now what does that mean for a person who is asking if they should be a short term or a longer term trader? It means they should definitely be starting out as a longer term trader. It's a no brainer. Now listen, please don't misconstrue what I'm saying. I run our short term trading service. There is a place for short term trading. I love taking short term trades when they set up. They offer very low risk and high reward to risk. They're, they're excellent. I mean, they, they can be some, some really very juicy opportunities. But I'll tell you a secret. If you want to be a great short term trader, first learn how to trade profitably as a longer term trader. The methodology that Darko teaches in his long term trading services uh, service is applicable to any trading style. It doesn't matter. And with longer term trading, there's no rush. It gives you the opportunity to learn without feeling all panicked. Okay, everything happens much more slowly and you have lots and lots of time to put orders in. So, you know, my recommendation would be to learn everything on higher time frames first. Price action reading. Uh, candlestick analysis, support and resistance, patterns, etc., etc. Then scale your trading to whatever trading style suits you. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, you know, we just hate seeing people entering the Forex trading arena with their eyes shut, you know, and not truly knowing what to expect. Having the right expectations is so important. And, you know, we're simply trying to give our members the best chance possible by showing them the easiest route. And, and just always being upfront about the realities of trading. Okay. If you have any questions or concerns, uh, contact me. You know, I'm very happy to give you my honest answers. I'll do my level best to help you decide the best course of action for you. Fair enough. Great. Uh, well, thanks again uh, for watching this video, and I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Take care.